Late caramelo cacao. Cacao de Guatemala. Mucho gusto. Late caramelo Fredo. Welcome to the Agile Lounge for Business Agility. The show will kick off very soon on this Friday, July the 1st. So let's do our little uh, milk run to see if we are live first. We seems to be live on LinkedIn, so welcome LinkedIn people. Apologize for a little quick feedback when we started before I could mute. Um, so Dumitil, uh, are you here? Who's here? We have Dumitil Karen, great coach from uh, training from the back of the room. She's awesome in California, but she now everybody, wherever you're from, we are teaching from all over the world. We are truly connected together now. Ah, this is awesome. We're gonna have fun today because it's a Canada day. It's our Confederation day. It's a day off. That's why I'm really slack here with my uh, coach jersey so we're live on linkedin so welcome linkedin uh we'll get back to you with a chat and once again i'd like to be innovative and uh, i would like to open up always towards the end of the hour as we do it every friday for the 73rd week this week since i was in tulum in cancun mexico last year it's amazing you are amazing guys i got some updates for you before we go to that kind of email that i wrote on my macbook uh, somewhere at the uh, chicago o'hara airport uh, we're gonna have fun with that it's a true story it's a true email but of course i i make it a fable and i don't put name of my client or anyone so we'll, we'll come back to it later and uh, yeah so i pick on federation their day for all the canucks and uh, it's an amazing weekend because north america it's completely four days off because Monday is going to be our folks, our great friends of the southern border. The American people will celebrate the Independence Day. And more and more, as you know, in 2023, I might move south. Not, not might. I will. I would love to. I would love to. So I'm working on it, continuously planning it with a great lawyer, great things. And yeah, that's the thing. So. Let's go see now our friend on Twitter. Are we live on Twitter as well? Oh, three new followers on Twitter. But anyways, Twitter is mostly the bitch of linked out, meaning that when I post something on, on LinkedIn, as you could see, uh, less and less I'm on social network because I my real social network is IRL. So let's, oh yeah, actually, let's see this here. It's I, yes, IRL, the real social network, social network, not social media. What I want is to be with people. I would like to interact with people, to subsume with people. And we call it IRL, IRL in real life. Yes. And I see. That movement of IRL is the generation that grows now, the 20, 25 years old. They they prefer it. I had a great conversation with kids uh, across the jazz festival that kicked off yesterday in Montreal. And they were saying like, um, we're sick and tired of this. We're sick and tired of a lot of things. So good luck for those with the uh, digital metaverse uh, bullshit that's going around. <laughs> Anyways, so Twitter, we're here. And of course, 558, three more than last week, because last week we we're at 555 followers and subscribers on our YouTube channel that keep growing. That's crazy because last, last year in Mexico, we we're like below 100. So we, we gained like almost 400 person more subscribers since my exile in Mexico during that pandemic. So let's see. Let's see if we are live here too. And we're going to start slowly the show. And the music you are listening now in the background, because at Jal Lounge, it's training and workshop with music for your mind to expand your mind. So what do we have? It's the Grand Sound, my friend at the Grand Sound training somewhere in Eastern Europe. With music for your mind. Yes, 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 Fredo. We hear you. So perfect. Oh, five people. Seven, eight, ten. Let's see in the studio now. 
17 people's watching, so welcome. I don't know where you are. If you're on YouTube, give me a chat and give me a thumbs up. And once again, once again, 75% of you are not subscriber. So what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Subscribe and hit the bell to get notification every Friday, no matter what happened. I will be live at 12 noon Eastern, 11 Central, 6 p.m. Europe and Maghreb, Northern Africa. Um, great comment you we have last week. That was great. And uh, for those who watch on Rumble on the Saturday morning, the kind of the rewatch on my Rumble channel that only have 10 subscribers there. So please switch to Rumble. The Rumble is the future, like Agile is the future. So give me a glove on Rumble, smash the like button wherever you want, and ask me any question in the comment, any suggestion of topic of business agility, enterprise scrum, scrum lean, whatever you want to talk about innovation, of pe putting people over process, people over structure, knowing that process and structure are important, but it's the people that make them. And we're gonna talk a little bit about this email I wrote to uh, a PMI member. And PMI stands for Project Management Institute, I think. You know something from the 1960s where segregation was rampant? Yes, segregation, division, hierarchy. Because you know, with the Agile Launch for Business Agility, not only you get great, amazing consulting and business agility, great coaching and workshop, but we try also to expand your mind, to be innovative, to spark your mind with Awake and Agilize with AF. No, no, it's not what you think it is. AF, like Anna told me, it's great. It stands for Agility with Fun or Agility with Fredo because Fredo is one of my mainstream, mainly uh, Antimus nickname. And no, I don't want to die on the lake. I will not die on the lake. And even if I die, I will just transcend. Whoa, okay. Enough Mulder, let's go back to Scully. And I'm not kidding. Oops, wrong. I want to believe. Do you want to believe? The A word. Why? Why is a giant? We're going to come into this. I think uh, from next, uh, yeah, July the 8th is next week. We're going to start our Agile Wars series. Someone uh, thought he was um, insulting me and calling me the Alex John of Agility, the Alex John of Agile. So he made this idea of doing the Agile War. 2001 will commence again. <laughs> yes, let's have fun. We have to have fun. We have to laugh. Why are you so serious, guys? And it's Friday. Relax. It's a day off in Canada. Relax. Geez, guys, when it's time to cry, it's time to cry. When it's time to laugh, it's time to laugh. And Jesus, when I opened my laptop in Oare, Chicago Airport, between my flights from Austin to Montreal, I was amazed by what I read. Plus, thinking of what happened in Montreal before I went to uh, Austin, Texas. So there's going to be a funny consultant story or a fable small thing from this is based from a true story and now let's minimize a little bit of the bandwidth here over here like oh thank you for the like on uh, youtube linkedin linkedin especially linkedin because the experience is kind of weird on linkedin linked out so um uh, the chat doesn't come to my milan app studio and i have to make the streams going and sometimes for some reason Anyways, so the innovative thing that I'd like to do with the Friday Live Agile show, especially because, you know, the audio podcast, there's no live right now. I said right now, we'll, we'll, we'll see about it. Maybe uh, because Spotify make me a kind of an offer and the business and the entrepreneur side with a very low cost. So we're going to think about it to do kind of a live show and uh, having like video stream uh, for the Dare Real Agile podcast. Oh, by the way, by the way, yes, we are the last friday of the month or the first friday of the month kind of like you know this timing so 
for those who like to do your jogging, do your spinning, do your workout with me and my kind of craziness of being bold and proceed. The new podcast episode is available now. It's a great condense of uh, featuring Mike Beadle. It's What is Enterprise Scrum for Business Agility? It's available right now to download in your pocket and run with Coach F. Uh, hearing those great stories you will hear from Mike's also is definition of business agility, is viewpoint on the real revolution is business agility is not the agile for software development anymore and we knew it all together the bunch of us the beatles the enterprise scrummer we knew it in 2009 2010 anyways the guys i work with on the blockchain revolution they knew it so everybody knew it those who don't know it it will be out of business by 2031 mike my award on it mike my award it's not a question to do agile stop doing it just be it. Immerse yourself in these innovative mindset. Immerse yourself in having subsension instead of hierarchy. Engage people. Collaborate. Stop with your control and command stuff. Doesn't matter anymore. The world is changing, are you? And the worst thing is when I see young people completely contaminated by old ideas. In French, we call them... Uh, a whole, uh, a whole youth. I don't know exactly. In French, it makes sense, but now in English, I realize it doesn't make necessary sense. So please, in the comment below, tell me how you will say that someone young, acting as a whole person, even sometimes from a, another century. And I'm not talking about sociological, political type of. Uh, you know, that kind of, oh, it's left or right, conservative or liberal. No, I don't care about this. It's, it's, I'm talking about mindset and be a viewer that the mindset infuse, right? So anyways, um, once again, I'm so happy to be with you, beautiful lovers of business agility and real practitioner of Scrum, the real Scrum. And be careful because Agile Wars is coming. And if you don't, want to evolve over transformation and if you don't want to innovate you won't pass the decades we are in do you hear me and 2001 will commence again that will maybe an ad for so i'm alexandre frédéric joli well pronounced in french my french roots from the southeast france alexandre frédéric joli your coach AF. I could be as fuck or as fun, depending on how you show yourself to me. Are you coachable? We're gonna see it today. So, LinkedIn people, anyone actually who are live on the Friday Live Agile, as I said, at 12 noon Eastern, 11 Central, 6 p.m. Europe, UK. Actually, UK is it's another hour. They're, they're so different, right? Anyways, if there's enough people, now I see 20-some people on the studio stats that watchings from multiple platforms right now live on this July the 1st. So if you go in the chat, if you tell me something and you want to be here, you want to be heard, I could open, you could call me on Zoom. Yes, that's the innovative way of doing interaction instead of having a delay of 35, 40 seconds on LinkedIn. And I put it at 10 seconds on YouTube. So if you want a better viewer experience and interaction chat experience, come and join us on the YouTube and also soon rumble with the live. But I need to grow there. So Zoom could be open, audio only. And it's like, you know, in the old days, the radio station, you have the speaker opening the line. So here in our modern time, is a coach, vlogcaster, amateur, will open the Zoom and we'll, we'll chat live. It's going to be uh, better. So, but of course, I will open the Zoom and put it in the comment or in the link, uh, in the chat, only if there are people interested. So you have to show yourself. You have to tell me in the chat you want to do that. And uh, 
that's it. So it's uh, because I've got a kind of a, a main line Zoom. We could do audio. Actually, I could see you on my screen, but I won't push you. I will push only the audio will be heard um, on the screen. But actually, I never tested it yet. So maybe if someone would like to be empirical with me and we could test it. And uh, next Friday, we're going to start this kind of agile war. And as I said, the upcoming three, four weeks, you know, like, three, four weeks of July and maybe the first week of August before my grid off, because yes, I'm going to do grid off mid August to early September. And a grid off mean I will cut everything, even this, or I might put this one on plain mode to get at least, uh, I don't know, I'll, I'll manage, but, and I would like to see what Dave Robin is suggesting about this grid off, but the grid off it's, we are completely disconnected. We are, 110% of the IRL in real life. So for complete three weeks. Uh, and I might not have any show that time. And we'll get back in September. And we'll get back in September also with the Scrum Beer 18 edition. And I was talking with uh, my colleague at crew and they want us back. So it should be mark the date September the 22nd. It's a Thursday evening. Crew Collective, Square Victoria, Metro Station in Montreal. And um, yes, so you're the first to know. So now, on this beautiful uh, Friday holiday off in Canada with my uh, cacao de Guatemala and my espresso de Mexico, con el leche, leche de café caramelo. Mm. And this beautiful mug that I made myself from a, a fictitious coffee company called the Black Lodge, from a great mysterious David Lynch TV series of the 1990s that was called Twin Peaks, for those of you who are geek like me, because I like, I like the wording. How do you take your coffee? Black as midnight on a moonless, moonless night. Cheers, happy weekend. So it was a couple of uh, weeks ago, maybe months, because it's going so fast, right? In transit in Chicago, in a flight from Austin to Montreal, after seeing my great uh, partners and client in Austin, Texas. And uh, sometimes I just open either my iPad or my laptop and I go on read and catch up on some communication. And uh, I remember when I left, and don't worry, no client or no people will be named here, but I remember that I had a kind of um, assessment session with a lot of people who are still in the uh, project management mindset. Uh, members of PMI here in Montreal, uh, believer of this uh, Cascade and Gantt chart still today after like more than 100 years because the Gantt chart were, were created in project management type of pseudoscience in the 1919, 1920s, in between the wars and the crisis and stuff. But anyways, it might have been very innovative back then to see visually like this kind of cascade this kind of they call it waterfall because of that but anyways the point is we're in 2022 now the year of the tiger and uh, it's been like this november is going to mark my 23rd anniversary of doing scrum and being agile and uh, so you do an assessment so you answer question yes and no and if it's no why won't you do that or why don't you do that then would you like to do that? And so we prepare the uh, backlog transformation list of a uh, proposed value item to help them. And it, we tailor the, the transformation, especially for a large scale organization and to this kind of thing. So, and we also like having an exchange on 10 areas that might looking for improvement after we vote. And uh, so she start arguing, um, about uh, one of the oldest debates since the manifesto for software development and agile is there in 2001 which is it's a methodology 
agile is a methodology. And of course, uh, I know since the beginning, since even that these 17 guys gather in Utah to make this outcome of four values and 12 principles that inform patterns that could, yes, inform methodology. So I was thinking like, and, we, and now we start debating in a full lunch, divisional organization level session of an assessment. We were myself and another coach um, facilitating and he made it in-person event of creating this um, business agile transformation list, proposed list and asking them. So there were maybe like 50 people in total in kind of an open space and with post it and they were coming in the board. And that was really exciting. I have to do it like this. And, and yes, with music in the background, of course. Uh, maybe not that kind of techno music. Sometimes we put jazz or uh, we put earth music and stuff like anyways. So that's what we offer if you do business with us. And I say with us because I've got like five coach right now, independent contractor as well, that work under the brand of Agile Lounge and Next Level Agile. And we do have our coaching and consulting agility as a service, C-A-A-S. It's our little baby that we make and grow. Three clients use it right now with Jonathan, one of my coach, myself. And uh, we're going to train Sabrina on that too. So it's a very specific thing. To, so you don't have to pay for big service agreement and stuff like you pay for what you want. You want a workshop, we do a workshop. You want uh, consulting and educating the, um, the executive, we do that. Uh, you want a facilitation and Kaizen, we do that. So this is what it's really on demand, right on the spot. It's a kind of a one pager proposition. Here's what we're going to do when, with who, and here's, it's already like a pre-build because this same kind of one-pager CAS will become automatically your bill because you already know that we're going to do this, these three days at this amount, and you have to pay it and a net 15, net 30, or net 45. Easy, simple. It's putting people first. Customer interaction and collaboration over contract negotiation. And of course, if you'd like more midterm, long-term services, because we, we aim our signature pattern at the Agile Loan is this. Uh, we prefer like punctual and right to the point, action and outcome driven things. Then having a long 12 month, 24 month stuff like that. This is for the big firm that impose Agile. We are here to help you having a specific outcome. So of course, if you want to onboard a pilot team, we could do it within the CAS, but we will need a service agreement because it's longer and we might involve uh, more than one coach. But anyways, about all of this, and I'm revamping my website right now. I can't wait to show my new website to you probably uh, for the sixth anniversary in September, but you could still go there at agile-lounge.com for more information and get in contact with myself. Anna and Elizabeth will take a pleasure of taking your requests and uh, booking a free discovery call um, with me or maybe with Jonathan. I think Jonathan is ready to also uh, make some screening uh, as we're getting busier and busier. Um, so, yes, yeah, so we offer it 30 minutes for a discovery type of session. And from there, we could start your journey. Uh, you could have up to, I will say, two and a half hour for free, plus the back and forward with a specific stakeholders. And then after we expect that uh, you're going to hire us. So that's the way, very simplistic way. So let's go back to that uh, funny story. So we, we had this kind of intense debate of a great PMG, you know. PMG is a program manager, like full-on 25 years experience in IT, full-on PMI instructor, what have you, what have you. So, um, so that was like, you know, that was like very in, a, in this kind of context that I had to stop her. And I have to say, we could take it off because there's a lot of people here who are new to even classical project management. They are especially new to Agile. And um, even if it could be constructive debate, she was seeming more and more to take it very personally and to create a kind of an energy that will disrupt. It was an assessment session in preparation for having a transformation in her organization. It was not hers, but I mean, like where she was working. 
and she was already like it was not necessarily a pushback it was legitimate question it was great and and after that session i went to her we shake hands and then i invite her to invite me whenever she'll be available to to have a, a lean cafe one-on-one -on -one lean cafe and discuss further about it and how she could be integrated or great knowledge and experience into that kind of evolution uh, that the company want to do all oh, she could be as the uh, middle bottom helping the top down and the bottom up huh? because again there's no there's no adoption of agile mindset or even the lean thinking push from the top or push from the bottom you have to be both and you need people like me to create that synergy 360 type it's on invitation so anyways i invited her for that she said yes and so when I went to some other things and I went to Austin and, and um, I received her emails and she was putting me a lot of links of agile failure, what have you, and that PMI as still is resonance and stuff like this. Okay, so, and a little invitation to go to the cafe downstairs the building uh, when I come back. And she offered like three, uh, three slots of times. I said, okay. But I was waiting like, and the, and the flight was early because you know, since the pandemic, all flights are delayed or they cancel. So anyway, so I had like six hours. Usually it's only when I used to reserve these flights, uh, Dallas or Chicago, it's about the two hours waiting time, you know, transit time. But unfortunately, my layover was six hours at time and all the restaurants were mostly closed and Chicago was very, it was very late uh, on a Sunday night. So I was like, I never saw O'Hara or air that dead uh, a couple of weeks ago but anyways so so i went to a lounge because yes i've got a bongo type of things with the tangerine very great so i opened there free wifi very not, not the airport wifi you know so i start working on stuff and i start like and i decide to um, write her an email and we're gonna read not the email because the email was more profound more personal and stuff and so don't worry, nobody will be named, no company will be named. Because instead of arguing with her that the iPhone, which is Agile, is better than Android, which is PMI, for me is no question. I could still advocate that if you need classical project management, any work, because it's a very stable, clear, no complication no ambiguity yes continue projectizing it there's no problem about it i have no problem for medium and large scale organization being hybrid having a pmo that still do it and business project but if you are a company that enter in this evolution of the new market with new technology complex stuff that they need to experiment on it classical project management will not get you there if you have something complex you have to shrink it into smaller teams and everything so and is it a methodology hmm. is agile a methodology hmm. we see a lot of video and article out there saying yes on one side and saying yeah and no on the other side and some people in the middle like me we said like hold on a second what is the context here what are the values and principle and formats patterns and these patterns could they become framework or methodology how do you define methodology and your toponymy how much descriptive or prescriptive you want to be Like someone says in Matrix Reload, it's just a word, but the word have a weight. The word have an intention. It's prolonged energy, you know? So in that sense, that's why I said it's a, it's a funny, not so fictional story of a consultant explaining that Agile is not so a methodology to a PMI member. A strong PMI believer, you know? Should I say that? No, I won't say that. 
especially on YouTube. But I was going to make an image of it's not a good idea. So, and and I based off this on 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 a, on a great post that I saw a couple of years ago that I think it was Agile Entrepreneur on Instagram. I don't remember. He was saying like, Agile is not a thing you buy. Agile is a thing you are. So you know, you see, I love this guy or this group of Agile Entrepreneur. It's Agile Entrepreneur all together on, on Instagram. Follow them. I think in uh, Twitter the same. Great, great guys, great people. They are always like. You know, there's 10 business agility more than any other. And I left it because instead of being capped in this duality between do or be, <laughs> he said like a thing. Agile is a thing, the A word. It's not a thing you buy. You don't buy agile. You are it. And then you create stuff. And here it is. So let me read. This is the blog inspired by a true email, and then I make a fable with it. I take the time from the airport to read, and I was urged to write to you and to answer this amazing email you just sent me. About a nice debate we could have had in another context of our last assessment workshop a couple of weeks ago. I remind you, dear colleague, that the goal of where we've met was an assessment workshop on the capacity and the maturity of going to be agile for your organization and not mushing our fellow colleagues and newbies with philosophy and non-value debate between a PMP certified and a consultant from the Scrum Lean Agile Trench such as myself. How thought, as both passionate professional, I thought it would be interesting of me to share with you this story from O'Hare Airport awaiting my flight to Montreal. I don't know if we had the chance to introduce ourselves but I have a scientific background in cosmology. Actually, I wanted to be a cosmologist, exploring the vastness of space, understanding where we're from, where there is no space and time. And I had learned lean, scrum, and extreme programming and agility from the greatest thinkers in the last 20 years. I wanted to offer you that some of our peers, even from the sanitary, still think that the chosen word agile was incorrect and flawless or even mushy and also couldn't agree on a common ground of what is a methodology versus a framework except of course from my master mike beetle and his master ken schrober and here's why and now it's up to you my fellow and colleagues to decipher what is fictional and what is based on the real email. But the story is kind of true. I was there and what I'm going to tell her. But for the rest, the dynamic of the interrelation between the co sanitary it's up to you to uh, cross check me, double check, make your own research, okay? Disclaimer. So here is why. The responsible of that debate or the definition of methodology versus a framework is no one other than the great Jim I. Smith, one of the sanitary and tech journalists, programmer that worked back in 2001, 2002, a paper on the Agile Manifesto history that was very fresh. He is responsible for the fact that we forgot it was Agile software development. And he was a great engineer himself. And also tries to explain to the anarchist perception and wall and the wall that were between those of the century that were more anarcho-scientific, my clan, of those who were more conservative methodologies. So yes, among the 17th century, you have those anarcho-scientific 
with a lot of vampirism and a lot of discovery and outcome driven. And those who were more conservative methodologists with strategy, long, long time planning and stuff. But nevertheless, both kind of agree of the acceleration process. I'll let you the judge of who was on what side of this among the 17. Albeit, I remind you that I am a Beatles legacy scrumalist, kind of a son of Beatles himself. And who himself was close to Ken Schrauber, the co-founder of Scrum. This is the triad. This is a trio of the first user of Scrum and software development with uh, Jeff Chatelain, of course. That also teach us a lot of being disruptive and hard with Scrum for agile software development. Mike, like myself, have a background in physics. We understand subsension, therefore we understand Scrum. And we understand all of this dynamic of subsuming something within and without and creating this collaboration dynamic. So I recall one day at a Scrum gathering in Boston, that was probably circa 2005-2006, if I recall. I was pleased to attend a dinner where Jeff Chatelain and Mike Beadle, alongside Dave Thomas and Robert C. Martin, they start corn Ken in a funny way about being hard and disruptive. They tried to corner him, you know. I mean, Dave and Robert. Jeff and Mike and myself and others, they were there, we were kind of looking at the show. And then Ken replied with his hardness. For those who know Ken, is, now I know he's, he's older right now, but, but back in the day, he was like, you know, this kind of, get it, get it done. I will let, I will make it done. The definition of done, it's about like, like hey, let's make it happen, you know. It's, it's, it's kind of a representation of what a scrum master is, like pushing people, like go to the product owner if you want something new and to this. You know, like he was a bold guy and I love it. I love it. Agile Wars is coming. The great split between the feet pointing thing and those who want to make shit done, it's coming. It's anyways, let's go back to that funny story. Where I was, yes. So can you reply with his archness and arduous? Fuck off, you all, with your I Smith thinking of methodologies. That is a counter revolution of what we try to uncover since since five years because it was, yeah, 2006. Ways, gentlemen, we try to uncover ways, new ways. Not bureaucratic method, not expertise. There's no expert. We need everybody expertise and collaboration, but ways that will bring us in the summit of quality and a better human and technology experience. Double checked it, cross check me. Voila. I did realize at that moment, at that dinner, a large scale of shades of grays in my experience with the agility movement. And that very dinner, I was but dazed and confused to see myself agreeing with I Smith objectively and wanting to do the way of Ken Schrauber. That I code below, because remember this is an email with my story, The openness of Mike towards his idol, Ken. What I learned from that is need to balance, is the need to balance and canalize our passion and be empirical and open to others, accepting other point of view. It's not about us. It's about a fine balance with what we project into the greatest and what could come back to us. So here's a summary extract from Jim Ismith that I'm not 
pervert can Mike and myself efforts to go beyond and being bold and proceed and to stay in the in, in the wall not of resistance and deception but forwards by those traditionalists no au contraire on the positive light side this paper also brought the fundamental of our collective effort to aim at excellence and stop being mushy foolish Dilbert you know Dilbert is coming from uh, Scott Adams and restore common sense common sense not agile common sense and focus on objective not subjective hmm? the real objective key result outcome driven with common sense Jim I Smith Coth and I quote in order to succeed in a new economy to move aggressively into the era of electronic business e-commerce and the web companies have to rid themselves of their Dilbert manifestation of make work and arcane policies pay attention motherfucker this freedom from the inanities of corporate life attracts proponent of agile methodologies and scares the begerbers you can't confuse the word shit we we can't use the word shit in a professional paper this again i'm calling jim i smith so that's why he said like and scare the begerbers probably an expression to mean like shitters leave that to you out of a traditionalist and conservatist quite frankly the agile approaches scare corporate corporate bureaucrats at least those that are happy pushing process for process huh say versus trying to do the best for the customer and deliver something timely and tangible and as promised because they run out of place to hide do you see the anti patterns here and you continue with the agile movement is not anti methodology in fact many of us want to restore the credibility to the word methodology we want to restore a balance we embrace modeling but not in order to file some diagram in a dusty corporate repository we embrace documentation but not hundreds of pages of never maintained and rarely used tomes we plan but recognize the limit of planning in a turbulent and complex environment where we need to discover faster than before those who would brand proponent of extreme programming or scrum or any of the other agile methodology as hackers are in your end of both the methodology and the original definition of the term hacker and of cold from mr jim i smith so cheers and have a wonderful weekend and i hope we'll achieve together for a better world of war for a better today your coach af being agile af since 1999 voila is there a chat because i was not looking and once again this is the end of the hour i welcome you if you like me to open it up for some questions to um so let's see it because lincoln i have to reopen it because i was not looking
Mm -hmm. Ah, someone gave me a bravo. Who's this? Theogen Santos. Oh, yes, I remember you. A great Kanban coach. How are you, Theogen? Thank you so much for the bravo. Are you still there? Because LinkedIn, we don't see anything. I'm so sorry. And there's a 40 second delay. So if you dare say hi in the chat. Hey, I don't remember where we met. Where have we met, Theogen? Ah, that's cool. Just passing by there. So anyways, I it seems that you are 25 people still looking at 1244 Eastern. Um, usually, I tend to do it within an hour. So let me know if you have questions in the chat. And if you are looking the rewatch on Rumble and especially YouTube, give me a comment with your upcoming question. I was supposed to do an MAA like I did just last week in French. But um, for some reason, like uh, this time at the airport, uh, make me think that uh, I should create a kind of a, a complete explaining the agile is not so a methodology with that great code. Because doing my research, when I find back uh, this kind of, uh, you know, importance that um, Jim I. Smith have. So I kind of really, really love it. I, I really love when, you know, when you open it up to others and you accept others as they are instead of judging them, because I used to be like at the beginning uh, of the, the 2000s, influenced probably by Ken Schreiber and Mike, that I was a poo pile, a, a young scrum master. Maybe I was like, how could I say that? I kind of dislike those engineer uh, to, uh, to directive and I kind of dislike also those older guy, older consultant that they still want to please. Like, but finally, when I start reading his article, and the, by the way, the, the code that I made, and I will put in the pine comment of the YouTube video, especially uh, the link to that article, it's right on the agile uh, manifesto.org. It's part of the history, like uh, so it's a spot there. So you could see it for yourself. And do your research about um, this uh, dinner. Was it... Uh, what is fiction and what is funny and what is real and the characterization and the acting as, um, because I, I mean, like, you know, I'm authentic. So now I create a fable to protect the anonymity of my client and, and the exchange, but, and I put something like to make it more fun on this beautiful Friday. So anyone that would like to, um, to chat a little bit before we go for this great weekend, I need to go for this great weekend. So anyway, the R25 watching, thank you. And um, again, the comment is open. Um, start your question because more questions have in advance, more fun, more motivating for me it is as a, as a volunteer, as a passionate of business agility to be here every Friday. Next Friday, we're gonna kind of launch and kick off our Agile Wars. I'm Alex J. And if you don't behave yourself, if you don't want to embrace evolution, over transformation 2001 will commence again and again the 75 percent of you and especially on rumble and youtube that watching every week for more than 60 percent of the show so that means great for me thank you but subscribe and hit the bell and start interacting with us i still appreciate the emails and by the way geo abigail matt thank you for your bitcoins once again this is great because I feel the love and I like to share all of these bitcoins and money that we receive with Anna and Elizabeth that support me a lot. Thank you so much, ladies, woman and agile, to have my back because you're in the backstage. I hope one day we're going to have like all of my team. And, and by the way, I talk about opening a Zoom call, but I would like to also... Um, would like to also maybe for the next three weeks I could I will have to watch the rewatch the bandwidth power of it but I would like to do it in cafe in Montreal and inviting you in person while we are still free 
you know, to shake hand, to say hello. Huh? People around Montreal, let me know in the comment below what you think about this idea. And uh, I could do a live show in a cafe and maybe directly at crew and you join me on this beautiful balcony and we have cafe together. I invite you, I invite you. I'll, I'll pay the first coffee. I'll pay your first cappuccino, your first espresso, whatever you want. So, um, and again, uh, if you'd like to um, learn business agility and all, all of these things could actually create your own methodology, create your own framework, how we could configure it to your business context and your SDLC, uh, so for development life cycles and putting it together to satisfy your customer over anything else, please take your free discovery session and let's walk the talk together, outcome driven approach with a safer and making your customer and your workers happier. This is Agile Launch for Business Agility. This is what we offer to the world. And this is what we have a lot, a lot more customers satisfied of that. So it's an invitation. You're welcome to join our evolution, not revolution. So on that, I hope you like it. I hope you've learned something. And I hope to learn something from you and the comment below to improve myself on all aspects. But remember, I'm a volunteer here and I'm not necessarily doing it for the marketing. I'm doing it for exploring subject that nobody want to talk or body talk like an artist or like a faker. I'd like to be authentic. I'd like to be IRL. So this is my mission. I do it for myself first. And thank God I have almost 5,000 people with 900 downloads a month, a month and people sending me emails, sending me appreciation, sending me also a topic subject and everything. So thank you so much. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful to be alive in these day and age, despite everything we are facing in these dark ages and this age of imposition of agile. It's up to us to make our world a better place, our today, today, not tomorrow, not yesterday, today. Are you with me? And you could do this too, because remember, you are a beautiful person. You are a powerful person. You are free to be whoever you want it to be. And you are free to do whatever you want in mutual respect of one another. On that, have an amazing weekend and see you next Friday, July the 8th for the UFO Day and the launch of the Agile Wars. The Great Split is coming. Are you ready for the Great Split? Cheers. I love you.